Okay, I just filmed a wrap up and by now, hopefully you've watched it. I also need to film another video for today. Hi, how's it going? But wrap ups take a lot out of me. So I'm going to do a tag and Lala from Books and Lala just posted a tag. So I'm just gonna do that one. I'll link her video down below. This is the end of the year book tag, I think it's called. And it has quite a few books about autumn. So I guess we're supposed to do it before winter hits us. So here we are. Let's let's talk about end of the year stuff. First question, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? I am currently reading Lord of Chaos, boom. I'd actually really like to finish this as well as the next book, which is something, but more Wheel of Time. I definitely want to read more Wheel of Time. I haven't yet started House of Leaves, but that's a book that I plan on taking my time with and I'm starting next month in November, which is this month now for you. And I'd really love, even though I'm going to take my time with it, I'd really love to have it done by the end of the year. So two months, I think that's solid. Question two, do you have any autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? Yes. Um, I don't really understand this because winter is the end of the year, but I'm gonna answer it wrongly. The Book Thief. I'm I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this takes place in winter time. Maybe the cover is just fooling me. But I wanna believe that reading this in December, which is my game plan, I wanna believe that this is the correct time to read this. I don't tend to read based on seasons, so I, this is the best, this is the best I have. Question three, is there a new release you're still waiting for? Yeah, um, the sequel to Sky, where it is Star Sky? What am I doing? Here's an image. Um, the second, the second book in this young adult sci-fi series that Brandon Sanderson is writing, I really enjoyed Skyward and my dad loved it and my brother really enjoyed it too. And it's just become a book that we discuss amongst my family. And so I'm going to get it on Audible because my brother and my dad only listen to audiobooks and that way we can all discuss. And plus one of my favorite audiobook narrators narrates the series, so I love her. So anyway, <laughs> this is a book that I wanna read as soon as it's released, mostly, I mean, I'm, I wanna read it because it's interesting to me, but mostly because I know that my family will read it as soon as it's published, so. I want to too, so that we can discuss. But there are also several other new releases that I really wanna to get to. I actually did a um, books this season that I'm interested in video. I'll link it in the, in the corner as well as the description. Question, whatever one I'm on, what are three books that you want to read before the end of the year? That's a really good question. I'm gonna go with books that I haven't already mentioned. Ooh, there's um, a book by Joe Hill, I think, Stephen King's son, that's uh, there. And it's, my friend Jo told me about it and she said that it's about, I'm gonna get this wrong. It's about a guy that like kidnaps children and then he constantly has Christmas music playing. Um, and I really wanna read it around Christmas time. <laughs> I know that I want to continue on with the Harry Potter series. I'm currently on book three um, and I wanna keep talking about those books because I love them. Oh, Malazan, hang on. Malazan Book of the Fallen was on my October TBR and I didn't get to it and then I forgot to put it on my November TBR, but I want to read the first book by the end of the year for sure because um, it's a series that I don't hear a lot of people talk about on booktube and yet I, it seems like a ton of my subscribers talk about it all the time. So I wanna talk to you about it. Oh, and I wanna reread Peter Pan because I do every December because I love Peter Pan. Oh, three books. Did I fail? Yeah. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? I hope so. I really hope so. I mean, every book I pick up, I hope is going to be amazing. Um, House of Leaves, I think could potentially really wow me because a lot of people say that it's the scariest book they've ever read. So I hope, I hope it scares me. <laughs> I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read Wuthering Heights. Where, where are you at, fam? Do I own Wuthering Heights? I don't think I own it. Oh, found it, it's all good. I knew I bought it at a secondhand bookstore at some point in my life. I would love for you guys to talk to me about this actually in, in this video because I have heard such mixed things. I know that some people love it and some people hate it, but people tell me, don't, this is not a romance. This is about revenge and passion in like a negative sense and people doing things for the sake of revenge. And then I've heard people say, no, this was written as a love story. It's supposed to be a love story. It's just so bad that people have decided you should view it as a revenge story so that you can enjoy it uh, because the romance was written so poorly. So I wanna know, I mean, I'll probably Google it, but I'm curious about the truth. What was this written 
as. I know I should view it as a revenge story, but was it originally a love story that just was terrible? I got to know. But anyway, this is a book that a lot of people love and just as many people seem to hate. Um, and I'm very excited to see where I land. And then I don't know, I tend to, I tend to dedicate a lot of my December every year to rereads because I love rereading and December is just like, I don't know, it's such a cozy time to snuggle up with your favorite books. And plus it gives me a little bit of slack with all my end of the year videos if I already have read everything that I'm reading at the last part of the year. So I don't have a huge list of books that I'm going to be reading at the end of the year, or at least that I'm going to be reading for the first time. And the last question is, have you already started making reading plans for 2020? Oh my friend, yes. I start making reading plans for 2020 as soon as I do the uh, middle of the year book tag, middle of, the, middle of the year stats, all that stuff. I'm like, and now let's talk about the end of the year because these sections of the year where you're expected to do 20 different things, <laughs> fun videos to film, but also the most stressful for me because there's so much to do and I am a planner. So I need to be organized and ready to go really early on. So yes, I have a calendar. I have it filled out for the most part. I'm asking my friends what videos they're doing so that I'm making sure that I'm not leaving anything out. And I'm really excited about them. I'm also a little bit nervous because I have so many videos I need to do because I also do my seasonal videos where I have my seasonal DNFs and books I'm looking forward to and whatever other seasonal videos I do. She's organized. Uh, I still, I have all my seasonal videos as well, but the season changes in December, which is when all the end of the year videos are happening. So I have so many videos that they may bleed into November. Do you care about any of this? Here, here I am ranting. The point is, yes, I have plans. Have I been recording any of this? Oh, praise the Lord. So that's that. There weren't very many uh, questions there, which, is exactly what I needed. I'm curious if there are any books that you're trying to finish by the end of the year. If you have plans and goals for your end of the year stuff, are you scrambling to try to get books read or are you cool with carrying over books into the new year? I personally like to finish a book the day before the end of the year or a couple days before the end of the year and then not read anything because I like to start my year fresh. And then I also really like to plan my first book that I'm going to read that year because I like to start my year on a really cool book. Ideally, I would love if the first book I read in the new year is something amazing. Last year, I think I started my, my year on Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. And if that's not a start to your year, I don't know what is. So I'm curious what book you're going to start your new year with as well. Anyway, I post videos every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I'll see you guys again soon.